Sugar and Spice is my independent toy shop in pont The shop opened in 1991, originally as a card shop and then over the years expanded it into a toy shop due to its growing popularity. But 25 years later I'm still here because I enjoy it so much. I loved dolls when I was growing up. I used to take all my toys to bed with me <laughs> and there'd be no room in the, in the bed for anyone but, uh, but me. There'd be toys everywhere. I seen a, um, a stall uh, that had all like fairy houses and it was all set up, you know, so pretty and it was something I thought, oh wow, I really want to do that. But it wasn't something you just bought off a shelf, you wanted to buy everything individual and you had to make something with it. Traditional toys do have a bit of trouble competing with modern technology toys of today, but sometimes I think it's the parents that the trouble and not the children themselves, it's what they are guiding them towards. I think children decide if they really like a toy by having time to play with it. Many parents guess what their children want by buying it online and then they surprise them when the children are disappointed when they bring it home. But then they've got smartphones these days so it's very easy for them to pick it up, check online, see if it's cheaper and very often it is a little cheaper but by the time they put postage on it really isn't but they still conceive it to be cheaper so they'll go oh, we'll buy that online. Unfortunately, this may put businesses like mine uh, out of business in the future and the social and fun of shopping will be lost. We have returning customers which we rely on quite heavily, uh, but I am using Facebook quite a lot now, so I'm trying to let people know that we are here. Children love playing with role play with toys such as shops or kitchens because it teaches them life skills that they can fetch through to their adult life. Children are starting to get back into playing with traditional toys over technology and by coming here they have a chance to play with them. However, I think parents will be the reason that independent toy stores close down for good in the future due to them not having enough time to bring their children to toy stores. Shopping at Christmas uh, has got particularly difficulty due to now everybody shopping online. You've got Black Friday, everything, you know, and all this stuff going on. I've got to make sure that I've got everything in for everybody because one thing I do need is letting anyone down. Well, we've been here quite a long time. I used to bring my children here. Now I bring my grandchildren because they love coming to play on the toys. It's been here quite a, a while. And uh, they, the staff actually don't mind you actually playing, interacting with the toys. Unfortunately, I fear for the future of children because what will happen is they won't go out to play, they'll be stuck inside, they don't socialise with each other. In fact, how they speak to each other is over a console and not playing with each other.
children need to play with hands-on toys like these lovely puppets. Uh, they learn social skills from this, interactive, playing, and they just get an awful lot out of it. Uh, she's very again is very helpful, and um, um, Ethan is able to um, play with the toys. Very hands-on, and uh, it's a very enjoyable place to be. I get to play with the toys before um, before my dad buys them. Exactly, yes, because I don't want to be able to go down the street and be able to get the exact same, same thing there, so I try to create with what I have. The future of Sugar and Spice is uncertain. Who knows what will happen in the future? But I don't intend to retire anytime soon because I'm having far too much fun.